people are starting to wake up because we need to wake up. We need to change the direction of this country. I'm a political activist. I have an online website and I try to help Canadians every day spread the news via alternative media. And we have a website. We're reaching over one million people a week. So people are paying attention because we've had enough of the corruption. We had enough of the corruption in this government that doesn't serve the people. They work for the oil corporations. So uh, you can go to the website, it's OCanadaNewsNetwork.com and we share a lot of news and information to help Canadians. Right now, if you heard about the uh, temporary foreign worker program, they're driving down Canadian wages for jobs. So what they're doing is they're exploiting workers from other countries, bringing them over, and they're paying them 15% less. Canadian jobs are under attack by this government and it affects our economy, it affects our society. So on many levels, we've seen unaccountable actions from this government. Uh, recently, $3.1 billion of your tax money went missing. No accounting. They don't know where $3.1 billion is. And that's in security funding. That's all going out to different surveillance tactics and security. And you need to know about that. A lot of people don't know that $3.1 billion bucks of our tax money is completely unaccounted for. And these things are happening in the news. A lot of people aren't getting the information because Stephen Harper spent over $120 million on those Canadian action ads. Now that buys off the TV network, so you're not going to get the news on mainstream corporate television. You have to go out and find the news via social media. A lot of this stuff is going online, so I have a website you can check out, ocanadanewsnetwork.com. And we have 68,000 people online, and we're reaching over one million a week. So we just want to help wake up Canadians. Canada needs to wake up. We got a bunch of fraudsters and criminals running the country. I like to call him, not the Prime Minister, but he is the Crime Minister. How many advisors and how many senators have he has he appointed that have been charged, arrested, found to be committed fraud? Multiple, multiple. Patrick Brazu got arrested for a sexual assault. He was appointed by Stephen Harper. Bruce Carson, caught for fraud four times, convicted. He was appointed by Stephen Harper. So, I mean, with the politics, people are waking up. Politics is life right now. You know, this is the future of our, of our country that we have to worry about. So people need to unplug from corporate TV and get the news via alternative media through these online social, um, social media groups, including I Don't Know More, uh, Occupy Canada, there's Lead Now and Open Media. There's a lot of great material there to get. So uh, we just want to help wake up Canadians, and I'm here today speaking out because we need to get we need to get awake. We need to wake up our neighbors and our friends and our family members to what's happening. So much going on. So and everything seems to be okay. There's nothing to see here. It's not like Canadian scientists are being muzzled in the country, being censored. It's not like scientists are being muzzled. The first they attack the academics. First they attack the librarians. The librarians are being muzzled as well in this country, along with conservative MPs. Stephen Harper spent over $20 million to monitor them and the media. So we got, like, literally a fascist government in Canada. People seem to be okay with it. They're not speaking out. But online, through social media and Twitter, people are speaking out. On a mass scale, there is a political awakening going on. And people need to wake up and need to start speaking out. Our whole future rests on this moment in Canadian history. We've never seen scientists and librarians and MPs being literally censored in this country. And if you don't stand behind your scientists and librarians, you're next to be censored, you're next to be muzzled. And that's where it always goes when a corrupt government rules over the people. So we need to wake up, Canada. We need to wake up right now. There's a lot of things to be concerned about. You know, the CBC is public broadcasting. Well, Harper wants to take it over and make it state-sponsored television like Iran or North Korea. And where did he get that information to censor people? Well, he met the communist Chinese propaganda minister in a secret meeting at Parliament Hill. The communist Chinese propaganda minister who is the de facto of censorship in that country. And he's bringing it here. He wants to censor this whole country. He wants to have a clampdown on political opposition. We got people being put on terrorist watch lists like environmentalists, rights activists, anybody who's opposed to the pipelines that are destroying and having spills all over the world right now.
You know, there was a prophecy hundreds of years ago in the Native American tradition that a snake would cross Turtle Island and start poisoning the land, the water, and the air and would kill the people and it's happening as we speak. This is about your future, Canada. And I hope people start paying attention to what's going on and start getting politically active because we have to be. We have to change the future for our next generation. It ain't about us. It ain't about any of us right now. It's about the children. What kind of world are we going to leave them? What kind of world are we going to leave the next generation if we don't stand up now? There's no time for any apathy. There's no time to be idle. There's only time to awaken. The awakening is happening all around the world. You saw it in Egypt. You saw it with Occupy. You saw it with I don't know more. The only chance to change is the social democratic movements that are happening around the world. Protesting is not a crime. It's your absolute fundamental right. We have had doctors protesting in this country because of refugee health care cuts. People that come over from war-torn countries and torture need medical attention. And the Harper government wants to cut that access. We've had scientists protesting all the way to Parliament Hill. All the way to Parliament Hill. Scientists because they're being muzzled. You are not getting the information that is essential to make educated decisions. These are our Canadian scientists. We gotta stand by them. We gotta stand by anybody who's being censored and muzzled in this country. Because Stephen Harper doesn't represent any of us. He only represents the filthy, greedy, rich, and the oil companies that want to destroy Canada, our home on native land. Doesn't it mean something? Doesn't our home and native land mean something? It's supposed to be glorious and free? Didn't you remember singing that national anthem when you were in school? Well, it's all slipping away. Canada is being dismantled every single day. Stephen Harper's own words, he said, you will not recognize Canada when I'm through with it. You will not recognize this country when he's done dismantling it. And people just accept it. And it's about election fraud that just happened in the 2011 federal election, those robocalls. This is a fraudulent, illegitimate government. We did not honestly vote them into power. They will criminalize all opposition. You know, scientists, librarians, for the first time, being censored and muzzled in this country. Even the RCMP lately are the last people to be muzzled. The own, our own police force in Canada. They won't even let them testify on sexual assault allegations within the force. And these people are being told to shut up. Well, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to keep speaking to Canadians, and I ain't going to back down. I care about this country, and I care about its people. I want the best for the future. And it's uh, essential to get the information out of alternative media, so you can go to Old Canada, newsnetwork.com we are reaching a million people a week a million people a week that stands for a lot so i just want to give you the information so you can make the decisions and you can be involved and start taking taking a chance for a change thank you